Russians captured the village of Novomykhailivka in Donbass after 73 days of attack. With heavy losses, the Russian army continues to seize settlements in the Donbass. The pace of the offensive is slowly but gradually increasing, according to the UK Ministry of Defence on X. As noted in the report, on April the 22nd, the Russian military ministry said that its forces had captured the village of Novomykhailivka, located south of Marinka and northeast of Volodar in the Donetsk region. Nova Mykhailivka has limited military strategic significance but lies on roads to other settlements that straddle both sides of the Suki Yali River in southern Donetsk, the statement said. Russian troops entered the city on February the 9th and reached the city centre by March the 24th. Earlier, the 79th Separate Tavria Air Assault Brigade reported that the Russian army needed 30,000 troops to do this and lost 300 pieces of equipment during the six months of fighting on the outskirts of the city. According to British intelligence, it took 73 days for Russian troops to enter and capture the village, a total distance of less than five kilometers. This happened with the help of additional operational reserves. This demonstrates the slow but incremental progress that Russian troops are making. On this axis, Russian forces will likely seek to advance towards the town of Kostyantinivka, two kilometers west from Novomykhailivka. Further advances north of Volodar could eventually allow Volodar's defences to be bypassed. Those defences have caused extremely high casualties for Russian ground forces, the British Ministry of Defence said. After capturing Abdiivka in February 2024, Russian troops have been gradually advancing westward. According to British intelligence, Russia is recruiting about 30,000 new soldiers every month, which allows it to cover losses and continue its war against Ukraine. Most of the U.S. military aid to Ukraine is already in Poland. This includes the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and other military equipment. This means that military aid will reach Ukraine sooner, recall, the House of Representatives has finally approved billions of dollars in new U.S. military aid for Ukraine to help combat Russia's invasion, the U.S. Senate is poised to vote on April 23 on a significant aid package for Ukraine. Following months of debate, the House of Representatives approved the assistance with broad bipartisan support, making the passage in the Senate almost certain Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced, the finish line is now in sight for the assistance package. The task before us is urgent. It is once again the Senate's turn to make history, said Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the final package, totaling $95 billion in military assistance to U.S. allies, includes funds for Israel and Taiwan alongside the $61 billion earmarked for Ukraine. President Joe Biden is expected to receive the bill for approval by the end of the week according to CNN, while American officials will not say so openly, a U.S. source familiar with the provision of military aid to Ukraine said much of it is already pre-positioned in storage facilities in Germany and Poland, which would obviously cut down on the amount of time needed to get it into Ukraine. The source also said artillery shells would be among the first materials moved forward once across the border, officials in Kiev will look to get it where it is needed as quickly as they can, but doing so will still present a considerable logistical challenge given the sheer quantity of material involved.
Kurs und Schritte.